Hi, welcome to Motographer Channel. I am Barry Sia, photographer, content creator. And today in this video, I'm going to share about helmets and how to choose them and what are the problems I face when I'm a new rider. To know more, keep watching. So for choosing your helmet, you will have a lot of dilemma. First, the things that you need to, you see a lot of designs, you see a lot of styles, what, which helmet actually match your bike. Then there's a small, medium, large, XL, and different helmet brands have different cutting. So it will be a dilemma. So you will hear what your friends get and then you just go for it. Or you think that, okay, uh, let me try out and then you try out, you go back, you just go for a haircut and then you find out that hey, the bike, I mean the helmet is like a little loose. So in this video, I'm going to go through some step by step on how to choose the right helmet for you. Uh, first of all, let's get into the types of helmets that we have. Alright, for the first uh, helmet we are talking about is the open face helmet. Okay, the open face helmet is always our first helmet to go for when we are actually going for our training. So the, our schools will give us a loan set uh, for us to wear while during our training with the, our inspection sticker. And without that, you are unable to actually take the course. So due to hygienic purpose, based on myself, what I feel, I rather get my own helmet. So this is my first helmet, the pro brand uh, open face because it comes with the sticker. So I'm able to use it for my training. There's a few pros and cons. So let me touch on the pro. Okay, one thing is that it is lightweight, easy to wear. Okay, one thing about the open face helmet is that it is actually hassle uh, free to actually put up and uh, put it up and take it off. And the thing is that some models come with the cushion inside that will be able to remove uh, wa for washing. And the parts are easily more available. The replacement parts are much more cheaper. Okay, the con about it is that it will tend to be a bit more noisy. Okay, because um, it is really more exposed and it does not have so much protection on the lower part of the face. The jawline area uh, will be less protected. So that's one thing about the open face. Other than that, um, it doesn't protect much on the, of the dust coming into, the, uh, into your helmet because it's much more unsealed, it's much more open. Right, for the next one will be the modular helmet. Okay, but the last time I do not know what is this called. Where I'm actually taking my 2B, I ask my instructors but I do not know how to actually explain to them what's the helmet I'm looking for. So I say TP helmet because um, I only saw TP having that, you know, they, when they are riding, I saw sometimes it's up, sometimes it's down, but actually modular helmets usually is um, worn with the chin bar down. So uh, later on that I found out that it's actually called modular. So yeah, I call it as a TP helmet. So this was my first one. My first one was a Carberg modules, not Duke and it has already stopped production so i airbrushed it to actually match my hayabusa so it was uh, this airbrush was done by tbrn thank you zo for this so most of modular comes uh, with the sun visor um, so far i i have not seen one without so that's a good thing about it the sun visor will come in very handy especially in singapore when we got real sun very strong sun or just heavy rain pros about it is also that you can actually snack, you can still wear your helmet and then you want to take a drink or what, you do not need to remove your helmet. One thing is that it has more protection on the chin area but it might be, uh, it's just a little weaker compared to a full face which later I will touch on. But other than that, uh, convenience uh, of wearing this is also much more uh, easier because you'll just open out chin bar, it's like an open face, then you close down and become like a full face and it locked, locked here. So you can see that it will protect the chin area and also it will actually lessen the dust, the amount of dust on the road into your face. But the downside about this is that it is a bit more bulky and then thirst is much more heavier. So when I first had my modular, when I was riding my Phantom, it was a little neck aching, especially I, I chose the kind of the wrong size, okay? So we will touch on the size later, but because of the size, my neck start aching real badly. 
it is also more noisier inside because uh, for the modulus uh, helmet it is actually two pieces so you know it's not fully sealed so it will be still as noisy but um, maybe slightly more quieter than an open face okay the next one will be the full face helmet so uh, let us go to the pros about it the full face helmet is what you will see usually in moto gps and uh, most uh, sports riders usually go for full face helmet okay one thing about the full face helmet that is quieter okay the pros is it's quieter um, and then it has more protection so everything's all sealed up okay there is uh, you can actually lock it down and it is really silent, more silent than other two helmets, the open face helmet and the modular helmet. I tried my wife's uh, modular helmet in Nosa Highway in Malaysia and it's way more noisy than uh, my shark helmet, which this is the one I'm currently using as well. Such a full face helmet, you also will have um, a washable uh, inner liner that you can actually take out and wash as well. There's one good pro about it is that it actually protects your jawline okay your your jaw area okay i just share a little story about why after i got my 2b why i went for the modulus helmet first and that actually has a um, has a chin bar already because um years ago when i was um when i was going for a gathering then i saw a friend of mine a childhood friend of mine that i have not met for a long time and then i recently at that time i saw him his face was kind of disfigured his whole jaw was like missing so i was wondering i asked him actually what happened is it a major accident he said motorcycle accident so his helmet did not really protect him he was wearing an open face so i was kind of freaked out at that time i wasn't um i was driving i was driving for around three four years uh, at that time that was i think uh that was i think around 12 years ago matter uh. It, it, it came back to me when I first, um, when I take my bike license and uh, when I pass, you know, that, that vision is still in my head very clearly right now. And I do not want that to happen to me because accidents are accidents for a reason, you know. So, but that is for me, for my case. And I do not want part of my jaw to be removed. That's why I go for, I, I go for at least a modular minimal or full face because really we need to protect ourselves. the con about full face helmet is that it is much more of a hassle to remove and uh, you know uh, remove and wear it on because it's very notch fit and other than that if it's not carbon okay if it's not a carbon model it can be a bit more heavier also so I would of course recommend a carbon version but really depending on your budget uh, I also understand there is adventure there's this adventure type helmet and I do not have any experience on it so I won't be really touching on this but whatever that I shared about is quite similar uh, usually it's full face it also applies the same thing and I think there's modular as well so let's get to the sizing so how to get a helmet that really suit you first you need to understand the size okay one thing about the sizes are s m l and xl okay large on the open face might be deferred from large for the modulus of our full face so the cutting is all different from different brands so the, it's best that you actually go down and then um, me measure it correctly you can measure it at home so this is uh, what Xavier from Regia Specialties has come up with so I show you how to measure your crown so first off I want to start with um, how to measure your head size so a lot of people uh, ask me like hey uh, the size chart how, how does it work so uh, online right you see uh, most of our sizing charts right uh, are in centimeters so for S size generally it will be 55-56 cm and then M will be 57-58 cm L is 59-60 and XL is 61-62 and then so on so forth for double XL and triple XL so how do you know what size is your head? so first you need a measuring tape okay and then how, how you going to measure your, your head circumference so there's actually a quite specific um, technique la. Just wrap it around your head, but you have to take note.
for for the sides right over here make sure it's just nice just above your your ears for the both sides and then for the back right you actually can feel like um like a bone like something bulging out like the the highest point of the back of your head make sure the back of the tape is is there because some people if they put it too high or too low then the dimension uh the circumference won't be accurate it will be slightly smaller which is not what you want so for the back so make sure you just place it at the highest point just hold it there and then the sides make sure it's just above your your ears okay and then for the front right make sure the front part is just above your eyebrow so don't don't put it too too high or too low like how you 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 will wear a helmet usually is just just above your your eyebrows right so let me just measure my head like that and then yeah so my head is normally an s ah. so here it says 55.5 so it's an s ah. so this is how you measure your head size there so you have the crown measurement all done you go down and you try the helmet okay one thing about the helmet is that when you actually try the helmet it needs to have uh, the cheek pad area has to be snatch fit it, it needs to be pressing of course not pressing too much till you're out of breath you you need it press uh, and have a snatch fit okay if it's a little tighter it's okay because you must remember you'll be wearing in and out between your trips so it will get a little looser just as time goes by next thing to know uh, when choosing a helmet is your head shape other helmets right i tried uh, hjc helmets unfortunately my head shape head shape don't work on the hjc helmet it is more pressurizing on the temple uh, for me and not, not much on the top so for shark helmet it actually fit me just nicely that's why i chose shark helmet uh, I saw HJC got nice uh, Marvel series I really want to get but unfortunately my head, shape to, my head shape don't allow so I'm unable to get it. So head shape is, as, is very important especially when you, are, when you actually buy the helmet back when you first buy it just wear the helmet and just do your errands watch TV maybe uh, check Facebook sit down on the couch make sure that you do not have a headache if you are starting to have all those headaches, migraines, well, then the helmet size is wrong, uh, the, your head shape is wrong, and you might have to find for another alternative. And if you are not sure of the head shape, the shop staff will usually uh, help you and will guide you and let, let ask you when you wear the helmet, do you feel pain on your temple? Do you feel pain on the top? You know, all these questions. So if you are not sure, you just go down and check it out the shop staff will usually guide you okay but for a start uh, for a start if you're a new rider this tends to be normal for new riders that means that you never ride before okay not even as a pillion you never see as a pillion before you will tend to find yes your neck will be a little heavy uh, i mean it will be a bit sore it's all right as time goes by it will be better okay you will get used to it and no, you won't have neck sore for the rest of your life, no problem on that. But then for the headache part, yes, it will, once you have all those pressure points not settled, you will have problem focusing on the road. And riding with a headache, no joke. You, are, you might end up in an accident or you might end up hitting other people because you are not focused. All right, so this is how you choose your own helmet because riding is supposed to be a fun process. You're supposed to enjoy it and you won't want to like go for lunch or dinner or supper and come back with a headache. So that is what will happen if you actually have a wrong helmet. So I hope this helps you and whatever helmet that I shared today, the links are below if you want to purchase them and see you in my next video.